Fashion Sewing. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew welt pockets. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. This is a sewing project I completed months ago and this is what you call a welt pocket. Um, I suppose I would describe it as like a tab and it's on fitted onto the front of the garment and the bag of the pocket is actually on the inside of the garment. So that is what a bag will look like. It doesn't have to be this shape, it can be square and rectangular, but that is basically the definition of a welt pocket. Here we have the welt, and I've already sewn the side seams of the actual welt, so I'll just turn that inside out onto the wrong side. And all it is, is a triangular piece of fabric. It could be any length and any width as well. Okay, so do bear that in mind. It just depends on what part of the garment it's actually going to be put into. So you trim and grade your side seams, turn it to the wrong side. So we're now on the right side. Make sure you get those points out as well. And then you press, and then I would do a row of stitching along the raw edge there, just to keep it all in place. Now the welt needs a pocket bag, and I've got two here and they are triangular in shape, it doesn't necessarily have to be, it all depends on what part of the garment the actual welt pocket is going to be placed. And this will be where the, uh, the welt kind of sits on top, but is in the back of the garment, which I'll obviously show you later. On this square piece of fabric, I'm actually going to do the sample for the welt pocket. This is the right side, and on the wrong side, you need to interface the area in which the the welt pocket is going to be just to give it some extra strength and support. I'm working on the right side of my garment and as you can see I've chalked a line. Now some sewing patterns it may actually show you um, with small circles and you put tailor's hats there or some kind of um, pattern marking so that you know where to position the pocket. Now um, uh, as, as I said, I'm working on the front of the garment and I'm also making sure that where I'm placing the pocket it is towards the hemline. So you've got the raw edge that goes onto the chalk line and the folded part goes towards the hemline of the garment because it needs to be folded up like that. So I'm going to put a pin in there to keep that in place. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get a pocket bag and place it on top of the welt. And remember, you'll be lining up all your pattern markings. And then I'm going to put a couple of pins in to keep that in position. And take that one out and then put that into position to keep it all nice and secure and then we're going to get the other pocket, the second pocket and just position it behind those pins there and it's matching quite close yeah just, they can actually be touching and I'm going to pin those into position And the next thing I'm going to do is take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to be doing a one centimetre seam allowance or three quarters of an inch. I'm actually going to start sewing where I put this chalk mark and it's important that you actually start at that point. You must not start from the very edge of the pocket lining. It, you need to come in and whatever that allowance is going to be for your pocket lining and you're actually going to be sewing through all thicknesses of the actual lining and also the welt. So line that up as close as possible. You can actually feel where you need to go and then you're going to be going one centimetre or three eighths of an inch seam allowance, which is about the, the width of your actual uh, sewing foot. A couple of stitches forward, a couple of stitches backwards. And remember, go as slow as you possibly can because you do want to make sure that you are actually starting on the very edge of the actual welt of the pocket. And pins out as I go. I'm going to be sewing for all thicknesses. Okay, 
come into the end here. Right, I'm going slowly because I want to make sure that I do actually, I'm using my hand wheel at the moment because I want to make sure that I just am going to be back stitching on the welt itself. Right, that's nice and secure. Show you what that first seam looks like. So there we have it. And I'm going to do exactly the same on the opposite side. Do a row of stitching from the same point that I've actually started here all the way down and stopping at the same point where I've ended with my first row of stitching. I've sewn both rows of my stitching and as you can see I've started them at the same point and that's what it needs to be. You need that much allowance. And there's the welt. And I'm working on the right side. I'm going to now turn it over to work on the wrong side. Now as you can, hope you can see the stitching there. You can see the two rows of stitching and I'm going to be cutting or slashing is a term that's used into the actual, um, between the actual rows of stitching. Now I actually just pinch my work and just snip into it and then just judge by eye should be too deep and I start roughly at about one centimeter five eighths of an inch from the actual edge of the row of stitching there and then I'm going to cut diagonally into the actual corners of the stitching just maybe maybe a bit less go diagonally right do not cut into the actual stitching at all and then do the same to the opposite side to my work around and then I'm going to go all the way there stuff about a centimetre and then I'm going to go into the corners remember do not snip or clip into the stitching you may find it a bit a little bit difficult when you actually come to cut the section where the welt is because obviously there's more bulk there and that's on the wrong side and now we have an opening now I've done my slash or cut into the actual uh, garment um, itself and now I need to I'm working on the right side and now I need to pull the pockets through to the wrong side so we've got the opening there that's pocket bag and pull it through and then get the second one and do the same post it through pulling it through and then what will happen I'm going to get all that towards the wrong side I'm going to be pulling the welt up so the pockets are on the pocket bag is on the wrong side and as you can see here's the welt so you really need to pull those through and the welt is going to be coming up like that but before we get to that stage I'm going to be working on the wrong side so we're making sure that we're getting one pocket and we're placing it over the other. And it's actually the pocket where the welt isn't. So it's that pocket, the top pocket if you like. And then we're going to pin it into place. Now these little triangular shapes here, we need to make sure are tucked in the direction of the actual facing as you can see here because we're actually going to stitch over those so I'm going to line that, the lining up put pins in all the way around and do the same on this side making sure that little v is towards the actual interfacing and I'll come back to you okay uh, I'm now at my sewing machine and I've pinned my pocket bag and um, I just need to refer you back to these little triangle areas here. Now I've, I've put a pin in to make sure that I do actually sew into the actual triangle as close as possible and follow the seam line all the way around. So carefully place your needle. Maybe you want it as close to the 
triangle as possible and just go slowly and try not to actually sew the pocket you're just going to sew as close as possible to the triangle just go slow that's all you need to do is just go slow and as soon as you pass that that should continue with your seam so I'm going to put my, my foot up and just get the garment out of the way so I can continue sewing my actual seam allowance for the pocket going to make sure that I'm going to be stitching over the line. It can be a bit tricky here and I'm trying not to get in your way here so you can actually see what I'm doing. So remember I've got the pin here and the triangle section is there and I need to be as close as possible to it. And remember I mustn't be stitching onto the garment at all. You don't want to you don't want to catch any part of the actual garment. just go slow. I do all the time when I do these pockets, I just go slow. Yeah, I still need to pull that just to make sure, yep. Yeah. That's what you can do, you know, you can just lift your feet up just to make sure you haven't actually caught any part of your garment and you're happy with how it's going. And then I'm going to back stitch. I think that's quite successful. Let's we shall see. Yes, I'm happy with that. Yeah. I'll just show you the back. And my pocket. And then the next thing to do is actually top stitch the actual welt to the to the actual garment. I can actually put my hand in now. Okay, we're now finished sewing the pocket bag and we now need to make sure that the welt is sewn to the front of the garment. So we need to do a row of top stitching along that edge. So I'm going to put a couple of pins in like I've done on that side, exactly the same. And then like I said, I'm just going to do a row of stitches along there and along there quite close to the fold. And there we have it, your welt pocket. This is a tab, your pocket bag is underneath. I'll show you that way so you know what it looks like on the wrong side. And that's the right side. And I'll just give you a little peep of how it looks on the inside of the bag. So there you have your welt pocket. I hope you found that video tutorial helpful. Just remember when you're actually sewing the welt pockets, those little triangles can be a little bit tricky, so do bear that in mind. And if you have any questions or queries, put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.